Hello student, now we will start the remaining examples of the exercise 2.1. Now the fourth example is 2xy plus pi sin of y is equals to 2 pi. At the point 1 pi by 2. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Apply the product rule. That is here, that is a 2xy to outside the bracket. Find out the derivative of xy with the help of the product rule. Derivative of x is 1 into y plus x into dy by dx plus pi as it is, is a constant, multiplied constant. Derivative of sin of y is a cos of y into dy by dx and the derivative of this constant 2 pi that is equals to 0. Therefore, 2y plus 2x into dy by dx plus pi cos of y into dy by dx is equal to 0. Take the dy by dx as a common. Then in bracket, you will get 2x plus pi cos y bracket complete into dy by dx is equal to minus 2y. And hence, the dy by dx is equal to minus 2y, 2x plus pi cos y. Therefore, dy by dx at the given point, that is the gradient of the slope is equal to put y is equals to pi by 2 and x is equals to 1. That is minus 2 into pi by 2 upon 2 into 1 plus pi into cos of pi by 2. Cos 90 is 0. That is equals to minus pi by 2. Overall, this is the is 2 to get cancelled and we get the it's a gradient m is equals to minus 5 by 2 and this is the slope of the tangent. Now equation of the tangent in slope point form y minus y1 is equals to m in bracket x minus x1 that y minus 5 by 2 is equals to minus 5 by 2 in bracket x minus 1. y minus 5 by 2 is equals to minus 5 by 2 into x plus 5 by 2 and therefore the equation of the tangent is y is equals to minus pi by 2x plus pi. If you simplify it, then you will get that is a pi x plus 2y minus 2 pi that is equals to 0. Pi x plus 2y minus 2 pi is equals to 0. This is the equation of the tangent. Now the next is equation of the normal. The, therefore, it's a slope is a minus and reciprocal of minus pi by 2, which is equal to 2 upon pi. Therefore, y minus y1 is equal to 2 upon pi in bracket x minus x1. Now, simplify this. Then you will get y minus pi by 2 is equal to 2 upon pi in bracket x minus x1. That is y minus pi by 2 is equal to 2x upon pi minus 2 upon pi. Now we will simplify this by mistake if you have square. That is a multiply on both sides by 2 pi. Then you will get that is a 2 pi in bracket y minus pi by 2 is equals to 2 pi in bracket 2 pi x minus 2 upon pi. That is a 2 pi y minus pi square is equals to 4 x minus 4. Therefore it is a 4 x minus 2 pi y plus pi square minus 4 that's equals to 0 this is the equation of the tangent now also you can see this here that is a 2xy plus pi sin y is equals to 2 pi at the point that is a 2xy plus pi sin y is equals to 2 pi differentiate with respect to x 2 in bracket 1 dot y plus x into dy by dx plus pi cos of y into dy by dx is equal to 0. 2y plus 2x into dy by dx plus pi cos of y into dy by dx is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x plus pi cos y into dy by dx is equal to minus 2y. And you will have the value of the dy by dx that is equal to minus 2y upon 2x plus pi cos y. And its value at 1 and pi by 2 is minus 5 by 2. Now the equation of the tangent is y minus y1 m times x minus x1 times solid and after simplifying you are getting the equation of the 
tangent is a pi x plus 2r minus 2 pi is equal to 0. Now the equation of the normal, now the slope of the tangent is minus r by 2. Its a slope is a minus and reciprocal that is a minus 1 upon minus of pi by 2 that is equal to 2 upon pi. Therefore, the equation of the normal is y minus y1 is equal to 2 upon pi in bracket x minus x1. And after simplification, then you will get this is the equation. That is a 4x minus 2 pi y plus pi square minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, the next is. x sin 2y is equals to y cos of 2x at the point pi by 2, pi by 4 and pi by 2. Now differentiate this with respect to x again. Apply the product rule. Okay, this here. That is x into sin of 2y. That is 1 into sin of 2y plus x into cos of 2y. We will apply here the product rule. You can see this here also. That x into sin of 2y, derivative of x is 1, sin of 2y plus x into derivative of sin of 2y, which is a cos of 2y, into derivative of 2y, that is into 2 into dy by dx. Now, next is a product rule for the y cos 2x. Now, the derivative of cos 2x is a minus sin of 2x into derivative of 2x is a 2. That is a minus y sin of 2x into 2. And next is a derivative of y which is cos of 2x into dy by dx and collect the terms of the dy by dx and that is here is that is a 2x cos of 2y into dy by dx next is a minus cos 2x into dy by dx and the remaining terms are that is a minus y sin 2x and the sin of minus sin of 2y if we take the minus sign common Therefore, you will get the dy by dx is equals to minus in bracket sin 2y plus 2y sin 2x upon 2x up into cos of 2y minus cos 2x at the point pi by 4 and pi by 2. If we substitute it, then you will get the result sin of 2 into pi by 2 plus 2 into pi by 2 into sin of 2 into pi by 4 whole divided by 2 into pi by 4 into 2 times pi by 2 minus cos of 2 into pi by 4 and if you simplify then you will get sin of pi next is sin 90 that is 1 and after simplification you will get this is the pi that is again the sin pi is 0 and overall you do the numerator you will get here pi now next is cos of pi cos of pi is minus 1 minus 1 into pi by 2 that is a minus pi by 2 and the cos of pi by 2 that is 0 and therefore here is it minus pi by 2 overall and if we simplify then we will get 2 therefore it's a gradient that is a slope is the slope of the tangent is 2 now the next is equation of the tangent that is a y minus y1 is equals to m in bracket x minus x1 that is y minus pi by 2 is equals to 2 in bracket x minus pi by 4 and after simplification you will get the equation of the tangent y is equals to 2x that is this tangent passes through the origin that is a 2x minus y is equals to 0. This is the equation of the tangent. Now the equation of the normal y minus y1 is equals to minus 1 upon m in bracket x minus x1. That is a y minus pi by 2 minus 1 upon 2 in bracket x minus pi by 4. That is a y minus pi by 4 is equals to minus x upon 2 plus pi by 8. Now simplify this. Multiply it to the given equation by the LCM that is 8 then you will get 8y minus 4y is equals to minus 4x plus 5. Therefore the equation of the normal is 4x plus 8y minus 5y that is equals to 0. This is the equation of the normal. Now we'll see here. These are the value of the dy by dx after substitution. Now the equation of the tangent y minus y1 is equal to m in bracket x minus x1. Same thing is repeated here. Now 
this is the equation of the tangent. Now the equation of the normal y minus y1 is equal to minus 1 upon m in bracket x minus x1. This is the equation of the normal. Now the problem number 6. That x is equal to sin theta and y is equal to cos of 2 times theta at theta is equal to pi by 6. This is the parametric equations we have given x is equal to. We will find out the values of the x at that time. Theta is equal to pi by 6. x is equal to sin of pi by 6 sin 30 that is equal to 1 upon 2. And y is equal to cos of 2 into pi by 6 that is the cos of pi by 3 that is cos 60 that is equal to 1 upon 2. And that's why you have the point 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 2. Now the next is dx upon d theta is a derivative of sin theta is cos theta. And dy upon d theta that is a derivative of cos of 2 times theta is a minus sin of 2 times theta into derivative of 2 theta that is a theta. Therefore, we will find out the dy by dx is equals to m is equals to dy by d theta upon dx upon d theta that is a minus 2 sin of 2 times theta upon cos theta. Now, what is the sin of 2 times theta? That is a 2 sin theta into cos theta upon cos theta 1 cos theta cancel and you can substitute the value of that theta which is pi by 6 sin pi by 6 that is Now see this here, I am correcting here. That is m is equal to minus 4 sin of pi by 6. And sin pi by 6 is a minus 4 into 1 upon 2. That is equal to minus 2. Therefore, m is equal to minus 2. Therefore, the equation of the tangent is y minus y1 is equal to m in bracket x minus x1. y minus 1 upon 2 is equal to minus 2 in bracket x minus 1 upon 2. And after simplification, you will get the equation of the tangent is 4x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. Now the equation of the normal is that is y minus y1 is equal to minus 1 upon m in bracket x minus x1 and we will simplify that is y minus 1 upon 2 minus in bracket minus 1 upon 2 in bracket x minus 1 upon 2. This minus minus will become plus that is a, and after simplification multiply on both sides by 2 then you will get 2 in bracket y minus 1 upon 2 is equal to x minus 1 upon 2. That is a 2y minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 upon 2. And that is why you will get that is a 2x minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. And this is the equation of the normal. Now the next is a problem number 7. That is x is equal to root p. And y is equals to t minus 1 upon root t, root t at t is equals to 4. Now we will find out the values of x and y. x is equals to root of 4. y is equals to 4 minus 1 upon root of 4. That is a 4 minus 1 upon 2. That is equals to 7 upon 2. x is equals to 2 and y is equals to 7 upon 2 x is equal to root t and y is equal to t minus 1 upon root t. Now we will find out that it is a gradient. This is the parametric equation. Therefore, dx upon dt differentiate this with respect to t. dx upon dt derivative of root of t is 1 upon 2 times root t. dy by dt is equal to derivative of t is 1 and the derivative of 1 upon 2 t. That is when this t root t goes to the numerator, its power will become minus 1 upon 2. And that's minus and minus, this will become plus, therefore this is 1 upon 2. And that 1 upon the minus 1 upon 2 plus 1, then you will get t raised to 1 upon 2. That is a t raised to minus 3 by 2. This is the, it's a derivative. Therefore, we find out the value of that is dx upon 
to dt which is 1 by 4 and dy by dt is equals to substitute the values that 1 plus 1 upon 2 into 4 is to 3 by 2 that is equals to 1 plus 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 8. that is equals to 17 upon 60 dx upon dt is 1 by 4 therefore dy by dx is equals to dy by dt upon dx upon dt 17 upon 16 the 4 divided by 1 by 4 and that is 17 upon 4 this is the slope. Now the equation of the tangent that is the y minus y1 is equals to m in bracket x minus x1. That is y minus 4, 7 upon 2 is equals to 17 by 4 in bracket x minus 2. And after simplification that is multiply on both sides by 4 then you will get minus 4y minus 14 is equals to 17x minus 34. Therefore, 17 x minus 4 y plus minus 20 is equals to 0. This now the equation of the normal y minus y1 is equals to minus 1 upon m in bracket x minus x1. To substitute the values y minus 7 by 2 minus 14 upon 17 in bracket x minus 2. Now simplify this equation. That is a 34y minus 119 is equals to minus 8x plus 60. And after simplification, then you will get 8x plus 34y minus 135. That's equals to 0. This is the equation of the normal. Since here also. The slope is m is equals to 17 upon 4. The equation of the tangent is 17x minus 4y minus 20 is equals to 0. And the equation of the normal that is y minus y1 that is equals to minus 1 upon m in bracket x minus x1. And after simplification, you will get 8x plus 34y minus 135 is equals to 0. This is the equation of the normal. Now the next is. Now the question number 2. Find the point on the curve y is equals to a root of x minus 3 where it is perpendicular to the line 6x plus 3y minus 5 is equals to 0. Now the given tangent is perpendicular to this line. Therefore that slope of the tangent is equals to the minus and reciprocal slope of this line. Therefore, that is our tangent is perpendicular to this line. Therefore, we will find out the slope of this line and we will take it some minus and reciprocal. That will be the slope of the tangent. Now, see this here. That is y is equals to minus 2x plus 5 upon 3. The slope m is equals to minus 2. This is the and therefore the slope of the tangent is minus and reciprocal the slope of this. Therefore, the slope of the tangent is equals to minus 1 upon 2, minus 1 upon n, that is equals to 1 upon 2. Now the point y is equals to in root of x minus 3, it is a differentiation. What is the derivative of root of x? That is 1 upon 2 times root x. In the same manner, that is the derivative of this is, that is a 1 upon, so it is a, that is a minus sign by mistake. Now see this y is equals to in root of x minus 3. Therefore, it dy by dx is equals to 1 upon 2 in root of x minus 3. That is equals to it is a value that we have that is equals to minus 1 upon m and the 
reciprocal and it's a minus that is equals to 1 upon 2. Therefore, 1 upon 2 in root of x minus 3 is equals to 1 upon 2. These two, 2 get cancelled and after the cross multiplication that is in root of x minus 3 is equals to 1. Now, squaring on both sides that is you will get x minus 3 is equals to 1. Therefore, x is equals to 4. Now, when x is equals to 4, what about the y? The y is equals to in root of x minus 3. The value of x is 4, 4 minus 3, that is y is equals to 1. Therefore, our point is 4 and 1. Therefore, 4 and 1 is this is the required point on B curve. You can say this. Therefore, the point is 4 and 1. This is the required point. Now the next is find the point on the curve y is equals to x cube minus 2x square minus x where the tangent are parallel to these lines means that if we draw the tangent to this curve and that tangent is parallel to this line when the two lines are parallel they have the same slope therefore now question of this is the line which is parallel to that tangent line therefore differentiate this with respect to x therefore you will get 3x square minus 4x minus 1 and it's a dy by dx is equal to 3x square minus 4x minus 1. But m is equal to 3. Therefore, 3 is equal to 3x square minus 4x minus 1. 3x square minus 4x. That is equal to 0. And simplify this quadratic equation. That is a 3x square minus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. That is a 3x square minus 6x plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. And if we simplify, then you will get the point x is equal to 2 and 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. x is equal to 2 or x is equal to minus 2 upon 2. Therefore, when x is equal to 2, the point is x cube minus 2x square minus x. That is 8 minus 8 minus 2 that is equals to minus 2 the point is 2 and minus 2 and the next point is my x is equals to minus 2 upon 3 subtract the values of x is equals to minus 2 upon 3 then you will get the value that is a minus 14 upon 27 these are two points therefore the required point is 2 and minus 2 minus 2 upon 3 minus 14 upon 27. Now we will see this again. And one thing is that uh, this is not the tangent that is a tangent uh, equation of the tangent this is not the tangent this is the line which is parallel to the tangent line okay. by mistake it is written only the equation of the line not tangent. Therefore 3x plus 1 is equals to what? y is equals to 3x plus 1, m is equals to 3. We have the slope of this line. It is not the tangent. I had corrected it. That is the equation of the line is a 3x minus y plus 1 is equals to 0. Therefore, y is equals to 3x plus 1. Slope of the line which is parallel to the tangent is m is equals to 3. Now, y is equals to x cube minus 2x square minus x. Differentiate with respect to x. m is equals to divide by dx, derivative of x cube is a 3x square and minus 2x cube is a minus 4x and minus 1. Now, m is equals to 3 and this is the quadratic equation. Solve that quadratic equation. That is a 3x square minus 4x minus 1 minus 3 is equals to 0. And that's why you will get 3x square minus 4x minus 4 is equals to 0. Now, factorize this. This is a simple quadratic equation. 3x square minus 6x plus 2x minus 4 is equals to 0. Take the common that is a 3x in bracket x minus 2 plus 2 in bracket x minus 2. Then you will get in first bracket x minus 2, second bracket 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. 
Therefore, x is equal to 2 or x is equal to minus 2 by 3. When x is equal to 2, substitute x is equal to 2 here, then you will get y is equal to minus 2. And the when x is equal to minus 2 upon 3, substitute here minus 2 by 3. That is, then after the simplification, therefore, you will get the value of this y is equal to minus 14 upon 27. And therefore, the required point is minus 2 upon 3 minus 14 upon 27. And hence, the, the two points, that is the 2 minus 2 and the minus 2 upon 3 minus 14 upon 27. This next. Now, the fourth one. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0, which are parallel to x axis. Now, the line is parallel to as x axis, its equation is y is equal to. Now, see this. Now, differentiate this with respect to x, that is x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y plus 1. Derivative of x square is a 2x, derivative of y square is a 2y into dy by dx, derivative of minus 2x is a minus 2, 4y, that is a minus 4 into dy by dx, derivative of 1 is 0. Now collect the terms of the dy by dx. Now the tangent is a parallel to, you see this here. I am repeating here again. There are the two values of y, 1, 0 and 1, 4. Therefore, the required equation is y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4. These are the equation of the tangents. Now, the next is. Find the equation of. The normals to the curve 3x square minus y square is equal to 8, which are parallel to the line. Now we want to find out the equation of the normal, and that normal is parallel to this line. Therefore, the slope of the normal and the slope of this line they are equal. But first of all, we differentiate it, we find out it's a dy by dx. That degree that dy by dx is the slope of the tangent, then we take it's a minus and reciprocal, and that is equal to the slope of this line. Now, see this here. Now, the curve is 3x square minus y square is equal to 8. Differentiate with respect to x. What is the derivative of 3x square? That is 6x. Derivative of 3x square is a 6x. Derivative of y square is a 2y into dy by dx, and derivative of 8 is 0. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to 6x upon 2y, that is 3x upon 2. Now, this is the slope of the tangent. Now, what will the slope of the normal minus and reciprocal slope of this line? Therefore, its a slope is a minus y upon 3x at the point x1 y1 this is the point this slope is at the point x1 y1 therefore we substitute here x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 you must know the geometry then you will understand this type of the problems now what is the equation of the normal that is x plus 3y that is equal to 4 equation of the the given line and its a slope is a 1 upon 3. And this equals to minus 1 upon 3. That 3, 3 get cancelled. You will get y1 is equals to x1. The point x1, y1 lies on the curve. And that's why it satisfies the equation of the curve. That is y is equals to x substitute in. Then Convert this equation in one variable, then you will get the values of the point. 
and show it again x is equal to and y is equal to 2 when x is equal to minus 2 and that's why the points are 2 and 2 and minus 2 now the equation of the normals therefore we have the two points that is a 2 and 2 minus 2 and the minus 2 this is the slope of the normal by using the slope point form that is y minus y1 is equal to this is the first simplify it therefore x plus 3y that is minus 8 is equal to 0 and for the another point I will again explain you after completion of this therefore 3y plus 6 is equal to minus 6 minus 2 that is a x plus 3y plus 8 is equal to 0 this is a equation of the normal see this again start here find the equation of the normal to the curve 3x square minus y square is equal to 8 which are parallel to this line that is a first of all equation of the curve differentiate this you will get the dy by dx this dy by dx is nothing but the slope of the tangent this is the slope of the tangent what about the slope of the normal it's a minus and a supporting now at the point there is a point where that normal touches the curve tangent touches the curve that is a, the point is x1 y1 and this point is on that curve that is a minus y1 upon 3x now we will find out the slope of the normal is nothing but the slope of this line therefore consider this line x plus 3y is equals to 4 this is the line with which we have given that is a 3y is equals to minus x plus 4 that is y is equals to minus 1 upon 3 x plus 4 upon 3 therefore the slope of the normal is minus 1 upon 3 this is the slope of the normal which is equals to what is the slope of the normal minus y1 upon 3 x1 minus y1 upon 3 x1 is equals to minus 1 upon 3 and that's why you are getting y1 is equals to x1 now the point x1 y1 lies on the curve it satisfies the equation of the curve which is the equation of the curve this is the equation of the curve that is a 3x square minus y square is equals to 8 it satisfies the equation of the curve that is a 3x square minus y square is equals to 8 put that is a 3x1 square minus x1 square that is equals to 8 and you are getting that 2x1 square is equals to 8 therefore x1 square is equals to 4 therefore x1 is equals to plus or minus 2 when x is equals to x1 is 2 what about the y the y is equals to 2 you are getting it's a value we have the point that is x1 is equals to y1 that's why here when x1 is equals to 2 but we have y1 is equals to x1 the points are same when x1 is equals to minus 2 again y1 is equals to x1 the point is minus 2 and the minus 2 these are the points now we'll form find the equation of the normal that is slope is minus 1 upon 3 and the first will take the point 2 2 and the second is minus 2 and the minus 2 equation of the normal that is y minus y1 is equals to minus 1 upon 3 in bracket x minus x1 and after the simplification you are getting the first equation of the normal that is a, at the point 2 2 is a, x plus 3y minus 8 is equals to 0 and also y minus y1 is equals to minus 1 upon 3 in bracket x minus x1 substitute it then you will get y plus 2 is equals to minus 1 upon 3 in bracket x plus 2 and that's why the equation of the second normal that is at the point which is that point minus 2 and the minus 2 that at that point is x plus 3y plus 8 is equals to 0 now the next is Now the problem number 6. To solve all the problems of the derivatives, you must know the knowledge of the geometry also. And these are tough problems. Reach each and every problems very carefully and see the answer. If the line y is equals to 
फोर एक्स मैनस फाइव टचेस द कर वाई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब प्लस बी एट द पॉइंट टू थ्री फाइंड ए एंड बी ना हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम If the line y is equals to 4x minus 5 touches the curve, it touches this curve at the point. This point is also we have given. That is, we will find out the gradient of this curve is equals to the slope of this line. And by using this, you will get the values of a and b. Now, y square is equals to x cube plus b. Differentiate this with respect to x. That is a derivative of y square is a 2y into dy by dx. A x cube, it's a derivative is a 3 a x square plus. That is a derivative of g b is a 0, and that's why you will get that is a dy by dx is equals to 3 a x square upon 2y. Therefore, dy by dx at the point 2 3 is a substitute. X is equals to 2 and y is equals to Then you will get that is a 12a to raise to 2. That is a 4 into 3. That is a 12a upon 6. That is equals to 8. Or what you will get 2a. That is a m is equals to 2a. And this m is equals to 2a. This is nothing but the slope of the tangent line, and that is equals to 4. Therefore, 2a is equals to 4. Therefore, you will get a is equals to 2. This is. See this here. Again, we substitute the value. A is equal to two. We have a is equal to two. That y is three, a is two, x is two, and the b. And after putting, you will get that is three square is nine. Two raised to three is eight. Eight into two that is a sixteen plus b. Therefore, b is equal to 9 minus 16, and that's b is equals to minus 7. Now see this again. This is the curve that is a y is equals to line. That is the curve that is y square is equals to x cube plus b at the point 2 3. Now differentiate this. After differentiating, you will get. That is a 3a square upon 2y at the point 2 3. 4 x to 2 and y equals to 3. Therefore, you will get the slope is a 2a, and that is m is equals to 2a. This is the slope. That is the slope of the line y equals to 4x minus 5. That is equals to 4. Therefore, 2a is equals to 4. Therefore, a is equals to 2. A is equals to 2a. Now we know the values. That is a we know the point x. And so y, also the value of a, substitute in the equation of the given curve, and then you will get the value of the b, and that is equals to minus seven. Therefore, a is equals to two, and b is equals to minus seven. Now the next case. Just start the next seven. A particle move. Along the curve y six y is equals to x cube plus two. Find the points on the curve at which y coordinate is changing eight times as fast as the x coordinate. Now, first of all, there is I had correction it. Y six y is equals to x cube plus two. This is the correction. I had changed it. Modified this problem. Let p x one y one be the point on the curve. That is the six y is equals to x cube plus two, where the y coordinate is changing eight times as as fast as x coordinate. Then dy by dx at the point two 
sorry dy by dt is equals to 8 times dx upon dt this is important that is a y changing 8 times with respect to that x whatever that x changing at the point x1 this is equation number now differentiate the given curve with respect to t that is a we have the curve 6y is equals to x cube plus 2 the derivative of 6y that is 6 into dy by 6 into dy by dt is equals to d dt of x cube plus 2 what is the derivative of x cube that is a 3 x square into dx upon dt derivative of 2 is 0 Therefore, dy by dt is equal to this is the simplification. That is a 2 times dy by dx at the point x1, y1. We have the relation. We will substitute the value x square in bracket now. Dx. That is the value of this dy. This is the 8 times dx upon dt. We substitute the value of dy by dt at the point x1, y1. It is 8 times the dx upon dt. Now on both sides we have the dx upon dt. We can cancel it. Then we will get this is what This is the dx upon dt. It is 8 times x square as it is. Now we cancel on both sides the dx upon dt. Therefore, cancel it on both sides, then you will get x1 square is equals to 60. Therefore, x1 is equals to plus or minus 4. Now, x1, y1 lies on the curve 6y is equals to x cube plus 2. Therefore, 6y1 is equals to x1 cube plus 2. Substitute the value x1 is equal to 4, then you will get the value of the y that y1 is equal to 11, x1 is 4. If you simplify this, that is a 4 cube, that is a 64 plus 2, 66, 66 upon this 6, that is y1 is equal to 11, and the next is. When x1 is equal to minus 4, then you will get the value of the y1. That is a minus 62 upon minus 6. That is a minus y1 is equal to minus 31 upon 3. Hence, the required point on the curve are 4, 11 and minus 4 minus 31 upon 3. These are the points and add. So this is the modified the question. I had modified this question. You can solve by your own problem. It doesn't matter if you want to solve this. But I had solved in this method. Now see this again here. This was P x1 y1 be the point on the curve. 6 y is equal to x2 plus 2, whose y coordinate is changing 8 times as fast as x coordinate. Then dy by dx at the point x1, y1 is 8 times dx upon dt at the point x1, y1. This is the important condition. Now differentiate the given curve. Which is the curve? That is a 6y is equal to x cube plus 2. Derivative of y is dy by dt. x cube is a 3x square into dx upon dt. Derivative of 2 is 0. That is a 2 into dy by dt is equal to x square into dx upon dt at the point you will get it's a value. But what is the dy by dt? The dy by dt is 8 times dx upon dt. Cancel on both sides dx upon dt. Then you will get x1 square is equal to 16. x1 is equal to plus or minus 4. Now as x1 is equal to plus or minus 4, substitute the value. When x1 is 4, then you will get value of the y. y1 that is equal to 11. When x1 is equal to minus 4, then you will get the value of the y. y1 is minus 31 upon 2. In this way, we have the two points on the curve 
that is a 4, 11 and minus 4, minus 31 upon 3. Problem number 8. A spherical soap bubble is expanding so that its radius is increasing at the rate of 0 0.02 centimeter per second at what rate is the surface area is increasing when its radius is 5 centimeter this is the problem a spherical soap bubble is expanding at the rate so that expanding so that its a radius is increasing at the rate of 0 0.02 cm per second. At what rate the surface area is increasing when the radius is 5 cm? Now, okay. Let R be the radius and S be the surface area of the soap bubble. At any time t, then S is equals to 4 pi r square, the surface area of the sphere. Differentiate this with respect to T, then we get dt is equals to 4 pi, derivative of r square is a 2r into dr upon dt. Therefore, ds upon dt is equals to, that is a 8 pi r, this substitutes a value. Now dr upon dt, that is we have given the radius is changing at the rate of 0 0.02 cm per second. We will substitute and r is equal to 5. Therefore, so we have an equation ds upon dt, that is 8 pi, the value of r is 5, dr upon dt is a 0 0.02. Hence, the surface area of the soap bubble is increasing at the rate of 0 0.085 centimeter square per second. See this again. R is the radius of radius and S is the surface area of the so bubble s is equals to 4 pi r square. It's a differentiate with respect to e ds upon dt. T is equals to 4 pi 2r into dr upon dt. Then you will get 8 pi r into dr upon dt. dr upon dt is a 0 0.02 centimeter per second r is 5. Therefore, the one gives ds upon dt is equals to 8 pi 5 into 0 0.02. And after the calculations, you will get that is the surface area of the soap bubble is increasing at the rate of 0 0.85 centimeter square per second. Next is problem number 9. The surface area of spherical balloon is increasing at the rate of 2 centimeter square per second. At what rate is the volume of the balloon is increasing when the radius of the balloon is 6 cm? This question asked in the board exam. Let R be the radius. We have given that is a surface area is increasing and they ask at the what rate its volume is increasing when the radius is a 6 cm. Easy question. Let R be the radius, S be the surface area and V be the volume of the spherical bulb. At any time T, 
s is equal to r 4 pi r square v is equal to its a volume 4 upon 3 pi r cube now differentiate this with respect to t we get ds upon dt is equal to 8 4 pi into 2r into dr upon dt that is 8 pi r into dr upon dt ds upon dt is equal to 8 pi r into dr upon dt volume v that is a dv upon dt is 4 upon 3 pi derivative of pi r cube 4 pi 4 by 3 pi r cube now the derivative of r cube is a 3 r square into dr upon dt now substitute the value that is equal to if you simplify this then you get 4 pi r square into dr upon dt therefore dv upon dt is equal to 4 pi r square into dr upon dt from above its a value dr upon dt is 1 upon 8 pi r into ds upon dt the value ds upon dt therefore you will get dv upon dt is equal to r upon 2 after simplification r upon 2 ds upon dt now ds upon dt is 2 centimeter per second and we want to find out its volume at r when r is equal to 6 now substitute the value of r is 6 and ds upon dt is 2 therefore that is equal to 6 hence the volume of the spherical balloon is increasing at the rate of 6 cm cube per second let's see this again this is the the surface area of the spherical balloon is increasing at the rate of 2 cm square per second surface area at what rate the volume of the balloon is increasing when the radius of the balloon is a 6 cm let R be the radius, A is the surface area, V is the volume at any time. A is equal to 4 pi r square, V is equal to 4 upon 3 pi r cube. Now differentiate this with respect to T, then you will get ds upon dt is equal to 4 pi, that is 2r into dr upon dt. After simplification, you will get 8 pi r into dr upon dt. Therefore, ds upon dt is equal to 8 pi r into dr upon dt. Again, the differentiate, it is a volume dv upon dt is equal to 4 upon 3 pi 3 r square into dr upon dt if you substitute it then you will get 4 pi r square into dr upon dt therefore dv upon dt is equal to 4 pi r square into dr upon dt and that's why dr upon dt is equal to from the 1 we substitute its value then you will get that is a dr upon dt dr upon dt is this multiplied means it is a divided here dr upon dt is equal to 1 upon 8 pi r into ds upon dt we will substitute the value of dr upon dt in this equation that is a dr upon dt dv upon dt is equal to this 4 pi r square into dr upon dt if we substitute that is a dr dv upon dt is equal to that is a 4 pi r square the value of the dr upon dt is here 1 upon 8 pi r into ds upon dt and after the cancel cal cancellations you will get dv upon dt is equal to r upon 2 into ds upon dt now ds upon dt is a 2 cm square per second and r is equal to 6 that's why i have given in the problem that is when the radius of the balloon is a 6 and its surface area is increasing at the rate of 2 cm per second square substitute the value ds upon dt is 2 r is 6 and therefore you will get dv upon dt that is a 6 cm cube per second this problem number 10 it of an equilateral triangle increases at the rate of root 2 centimeter per second 
find the rate of increase of its area when the side of the length is 3 cm. That's a good problem. So we will see here the problem. What is the problem? If each side of an equilateral triangle, so the equilateral, each side of the equilateral triangle, each side of equilateral triangle increases at the rate of root 2 cm per second. Find the rate of increase its area when the side is 3 cm. Now x be the side of the equilateral triangle. What is the area of the equilateral triangle? That is the root 3 by 4 into side square. This is the formula root 3 by into root 3 by 4 into side square. Now differentiate this with respect to t. That the dA upon dt is equal to root 3 by 4 to x into dx upon dt. That is dA upon dt is equal to root 3 by 4 into if we simplify this, then you will get root 3 upon 2 into x into dx upon dt. Now dx upon dt is a root 3 root 2 centimeter per second. x is equal to 3 centimeter. Now from 1 dA upon dt is root 3 upon 2, if we substitute its value, dx upon dt, that is a root 2, then we will get this answer. This is the, if we simplify this, then you will get, that is a 3 root 3, and this is a root 2, and a root 3. Root 2 into root 3, that will become root 6. Root 6. Therefore, it is a 3 root 6 upon 2 centimeter square per second. Therefore, the rate of increase of the area of the equilateral triangle is 3 root 6 upon 2 centimeter square per second. See the second problem. Very simple problem. We have x is equal to a is equal to root 3 by 4 x square. Differentiate this with respect to t. dA upon dt is equal to root 3 upon 4 x square. Derivative of x square is a 2x dx upon dt. Substitute the value. dA upon dt is equal to root 3 upon 2 into x into dx upon dt. dx upon dt is a root 2 centimeter per second. x is equal to 2. Therefore, from 1 you will get dA upon dt is equal to root 3 upon 2, x is 3, dx upon dt is a root 2 and after calculations you will get this is the 3, root 3 into root 2 that is a root 6 upon 2 and hence the rate of increase of the area of the equilateral triangle is 3 root 6 upon 2 centimeter square per second. Now the next problem is Problem number 11. The volume of a sphere increase at the rate of 20 cm cube per second. All problems are very simple, but you must know what are changing and what rate are we have given. Now see this problem. Find the volume of the sphere that is sorry the volume of a sphere increase at the rate of 20 centimeter cube per second volume is increases at this rate what we want to find out find the rate of change of its a surface area when the radius is 5 centimeter that's why we have given that is a dva quantity we have given and using that we can find out the rate at which its a surface area increases changes at the when the radius is 5 cm. Let R be the radius, S be the surface 
area and V be the volume. These are the first basic volume of the spherical body. Now next, at any time e, then s is equals to 4 pi r square. This is the surface area. V is equals to 4 upon 3 pi r cube. Now differentiate this with respect to ds upon dt is equals to 4 pi. The derivative of r square is 2r into dr upon dt. That is equals to 8 pi r into dr upon dt. And the dv upon dt is 4 upon 3 pi. And derivative of r cube is 3r square into dr upon dt. That is equals to 4 pi r square into dr upon dt. From 1, dr upon dt is equals to 1 upon 8 pi r into ds upon dt. Yes, we have also sort this way. Therefore, dv upon dt is 4 pi r square into the value of dr upon dt, which is 1 upon 8 pi r into ds upon dt. Substitute the value. If we simplify this, then you will get that is a 4 pi upon 8 pi. That is 1 upon 2. This is r. That is r upon 2 into ds upon dt. But we know the value of this dv upon dt. That is the 20 is equals to pi upon 2 into ds upon dt. Therefore, ds upon dt is equals to 40 upon pi. That is equals to 8 centimeter square per second. And at this rate, the surface area is a changes. Now the next is speed is again. The volume of the sphere increases at the rate of 20 centimeter cube per second. Find the rate of change of its surface area when the radius is 5 cm. We have this S is equals to V is equals to differentiate this S. You will get that is 8 pi r into dr upon dt. Differentiate this V, dv e upon dt. That is a 4 upon 3 pi, 3 r square into dr upon dt. That is a 4 pi r square into dr upon dt. Therefore, substitute the that is by using we will find out the value of dr upon dt. dr upon dt is 1 upon 8 pi r into ds upon dt. Now what is the dv upon dt? dv upon dt is 4 pi r square into 1 upon 8 pi r into ds upon dt. Therefore dv upon dt, if we simplify this then you will get r upon 2 into ds upon dt. dv upon dt, that's why I have given in the question. This is a 20 and here is a, that is a 20 is equals to 5 upon 2 into ds upon dt. Therefore, ds upon dt is equals to 8 centimeter square per second. Now, the next is a problem number 12. The age of a cube is decreasing at the rate of 0 0.6 centimeter per second. Find the rate at which its volume is a decreasing. Now its age is decreases, therefore volume will also decrease when the age of cube is 2 cm. What is the volume of the cube? The volume of the cube is L cube. Therefore, we will define here. Let L be the age of the cube. V is equals to L cube. It's a volume. Therefore, DL upon DT. That's why I have given. It's a age is decreasing at the rate of 0 0.6 centimeter per second. Therefore, differentiate this with respect to T. DV upon DT is equals to 3 S square into DL upon DT. That is a DV upon DT is 3. That is a 2 raised to 2 dl upon dt, that is a 0 0.6, substitute the value, therefore you will get 3 into 4 into 0 0.6, and after the calculation, 
that is equals to 7.2 centimeter cube per second. The per dB by dB is 7.2 centimeter cube per second. Now okay, see this again. Here, very simple problem. The edge of the cube is decreasing at the rate of 0.6 centimeter per second. Find the rate at which so the volume is decreasing when the edge of the cube is at n is the edge v is equal to n cube dl upon dt 0.6 centimeter per second. Differentiate this dv upon dt is a 3l square into dl upon dt. Substitute the values that is a 3 into 2 square into 0.6. That is a 3 into 4 into 0 0.6, that is a 7.2 centimeter cube per second. Now, next the problem number 13. A man of height 2 meters walks at a uniform speed of 6 km per hour away from a lamppost of 6 meters high. Find the rate at which the length of the shadow is increasing. man of height 2 meters walk at a uniform speed of 6 km per hour away from a lamp post of 6 meters high. Find the rate at which the length of the shadow is increasing. You see this figure here. This is the man. Its so height is 2 meter. Next, the lamp post of the 6 meters are Let OA be the lamp post, MN the man, MB is equal to X, his shadow, MB is equal to X, his shadow, and OM is equal to Y. Sorry, one thing is there that is I want to change here. That is MB is equals to Y and OM is equals to X. I will change it. The distance of the man from the lamppost at the time T. Now I change it. MB is equals to X, OM is equals to Y. The distance of the man from the lamppost. MB is a shadow. This is a shadow MB. And what is OM? The distance of the man from the lamp post at the time t. Now we have that is a dy by dt. That is we have given that that is a, a man of the height 2 meters walks at a uniform speed of 6 km per hour. Here we have given dy by dt that is 6 km per hour. Now is the rate at which the man is moving moving away from the lamp post dx upon dt is the rate at which his shadow is a lengthening D is the tip of the shadow and it is at a distance of x plus y from the lamp post. It is a distance from the lamp post is x plus y from the lamp post. Therefore, ddt of x plus y is equals to dx upon dt plus dy upon dt is the rate or rate at which 
the tip of shadow is moving from figure that is x upon 2 is equals to x plus y upon 6 and if we make the cross multiplication then you will get that the 2x is equals to y and x is equals to 1 upon 2 y again i will explain you therefore dx upon dt is equals to 1 upon 2 dy by dt substitute the value of dy by dt therefore dx upon dt is equals to 3 therefore here sir shadow is a lengthening at the rate of 3 km per hour see this again here a man of the height 2 meter this is the height 2 meter walks at a uniform speed of the 6 km per hour away from the lamp post of the 6 meter high. Find the rate at which the length of the shadow is increasing. This we want to find out. That is a dx upon dt that we want to find out. In question he has given that the man is walking at the rate of 6 km per hour. That is a dy by dt is given. The man at which uh, moving away from the lamppost dx upon dt is the rate at which the shadow is lengthening this is the dx upon dt now next we have that is x plus y differentiate it then you will get dx upon dt plus dy upon dt now from the figure that is the x now this is the these triangles that is which are the triangles that is the triangle a O, B and M, N, M, B. In this triangle, X upon 2 and the next is X upon 2 and next is X plus Y upon 6. These two triangles are similar. Their corresponding sides are in proportion. Therefore, X upon 2 is equals to X plus Y upon 6. This is the X upon 2, X plus Y upon 6. And that's why you will get that is the 6x is equals to 2 in bracket x plus 1. Now simplify this. Then you will get 2x is equals to y. Therefore x is equals to 1 upon 2y. Now differentiate this with respect to x. dx upon dt is equals to 1 upon 2 into dy upon dt. But we have given that the man is walk, walk in uniform speed from the lamp post at the rate of that is 6 km per hour that is we have given the dy upon dt we will substitute here that is the dy by dt is a 6 therefore dx upon dt is a 3 km per hour therefore the rate at which the shadow is lengthening that is the is a 3 km per increasing this 3 km per hour now the next is A man of height 1.5 meter walks towards a lamp post of height 4.5 meters at the rate of 3 by 4 meter per second. Now the problem is different here. A man of the height 1.5 meters walks towards a lamp post at the rate of 4.5 meters. Lamp post of the height 4.5 meter at the rate is 3 by 4 meter per second. Find the rate at which his shadow is shortening as he moves towards the lamp post. That's why his shadow will be shortening. Second, the tip of the shadow is moving. The tip of the shadow is moving. Now see this figure. This is the man MA. MB, this is the distance of his shadow. AO is the lamppost. This is the man 1.5. Lamppost is 4.5. 
let OA be the lamp post, MN man, MB that is equal to X is a shadow, and OM the distance of the man from the lamp post at the time t. dx upon dt is 3 by 4. That is we have given the man of the height 1.5 meters walks towards the lamp post of the height 4.5 at the rate that is 3 by 4 meter per second. is the rate at which man is moving we will see here again on the board directly now this is the we have given that is the dy upon dt is a 3 by 4 meter per second is the rate at which the man is moving towards the lamp post dy by dt that's why i have given dx upon dt is the rate at which the shadow is a shortening dy dx upon dt is the rate at which b is the tip of the shadow and it is at a distance of x plus y B is the tip of the shadow. It is at a distance of x plus y from the post lamp post. Therefore, d dt of x plus y is a dx upon dt plus dy upon dt is the rate at which the tip of the shadow is moving. Therefore, from the figure again, x upon 1.5 is equals to x plus y upon 4.5 is x plus y upon 4.5. Okay. But from the cross multiplication, then you will get 4.5 that is multiply on both sides by 10 first of all that is a 45x is equals to 15x plus 15y and if you simplify it that is x is equals to again 1 upon 2y that is a y is equals to 2x now differentiate this that is a dy by dt is equals to 2x into dx upon dt substitute the value of dy by dt that is a dx upon dt is equals to 1 upon 2 into 3 by 4 and that is equals to dx upon dt is a 3 by 8. That is a shadow is a shortening at the rate of 3 by 8 meter per second. Now the next is a rate at which the tip of the shadow is moving. That is a dx upon dt plus dy upon dt is equals to 3 by 8 plus 3 by 4. That is nothing but the 9 by 8. This 9 by 8 meter per second at the tip of the shadow is a moving. Now the next problem. Now the next is problem number 15. A ladder 10 meter long is leaning against vertical wall. Against vertical wall. If the bottom of the ladder is pulled horizontally away from the wall at the rate of at the rate of 1.2 meters per second find how fast the top of the ladder is sliding down the wall when the bottom is a 6 meters away from the wall. Now, see this here. A, B. This is a ladder. This is the distance of the ladder from this wall. And this is the height of this wall. Therefore, let A, B be the ladder. O, B is equals to X. O, A is equals to y dx upon dt that is equals to 1.2 meters per second that is a pulled dx upon dt 
by using the Pythagoras, x square plus y square is equal to 10 square. Now differentiate this with respect to x. 2 dx upon 2x into dx upon dt plus 2y into dy upon dt that is equal to 0. Therefore, dy upon dt is equal to minus x upon y into dx upon dt. Now substitute the values. Now when x is equal to 6, then y is equal to 8. Substitute the value. Therefore, dy by dt is equal to, if you substitute the value, then you will get minus 6 upon 8 into dx upon dt. That is a minus 3 by 4 into 1.2. That is a minus 3 into 0 0.3. Therefore, dy by dt is equal to minus 0 0.9 meter per second. And see this again. Therefore, we will write here, it is a See this here, the ladder 10 meter long leaning against the vertical wall. If the bottom of the ladder is pulled horizontally away from the wall at the rate of 1.2 meters per second, find how fast the top of the ladder is sliding down the wall when the bottom is 6 meters. This way of triangle AO. Let AB be the ladder, OB is X, OA is Y, DX upon it is 1.2 meter per second. From the figure, x square plus y square is equal to 10 square. Differentiate it, 2x into dx upon dt plus 2y into dy over dt. That's equal to 0. Therefore, dy by dt is equal to minus x upon y into dx upon dt. Therefore, x is equal to 6. x square plus y square is equal to 10 square, y square. That is equal to 8. Now, substitute the value. That is a dy upon dt that is equals to minus 6 upon 8 into dx upon dt that is equals to minus 3 by 4 into 1.2 therefore we have the dy by its a speed is not negative that's why i have taken that is a plus that is the dy by dt is equals to 0 0.9 meter per second now the next problem in the pre previous problems Take that speed is a plus 0 0.9, which is the meter per second. I have changed it. This is the final answer. This is a 0 0.9 meter per second. I have changed it. Now the problem number 16. If the water is a poured into an vertical hollow cone. Hello, point, whose semi vertical angle is 30 degree so that its depth which is measured along the axis increases at the rate of 1 centimeter per second find the rate at which the volume of water increasing volume of the water increasing when the depth is a 2 cm. Now see this the cone makes an angle theta, L is the slant height, R is the radius. Now from the figure that is a triangle ADE in the triangle ADE A e square is equal to AD square plus d square therefore l square is equals to two square plus r square and also from the triangle ad cos theta is equals to ad upon a that is the two upon l that is a 2L cos theta. That is the angle is 30 degree. Therefore, 2 into 
that is the 2 is equals to L into root 3 upon 2. Therefore, L is equals to 4 upon root 3. Now, if we simplify this, sin theta is equals to R upon N, then you will get that is 1 upon 2. Sin 30 is R upon 4 upon root 3. If you simplify this, then you will get the value of R, which is a 2 upon root 3. We have dH upon dt, that is a 1 centimeter per second. Now, V is equals to 1 upon 3 pi R square into H. From figure, the tan theta is R upon H and tan of 30 is R upon H. That is 1 upon root 3 is equals to r upon h. r is equals to 1 by root 3 into h. Now v is equals to 1 by 3 pi r square into h. If you substitute the values, then you will get that is 1 upon 3 pi 1 upon 3 h square. That is a square of 1 upon root 3. And that's why 1 upon 9 pi h cube. Now the dv upon dt that is 1 upon 9 pi 3 h square into dh upon dt. If you substitute it then you will get 1 by 3 pi 4 upon 3 pi centimeter cube per second square. This is the dv by dt. I will again explain. Now see this here again. If the water is poured into an inverted cone whose semi-vertical angle is 30 degree so that its depth measured along the axis increases at the rate of 1 centimeter per second. Find the rate at which the volume of the water increasing when the depth is 2 centimeters. Now from this figure, this is the cone, from the triangle ADE, that the AE square is equals to AD square plus DB square, L square is equals to 2 square plus R square, and in triangle ADE, cos theta, what about the cos theta, that is the AD upon AE, that is the 2 upon L, therefore 2 is equals to L cos theta, 2 is equals to L cos of 30, and by using this, you will get the value of the L, which is 4 upon root 3. Now, sin 30, sin 30, that is sin theta is equal to also opposite side upon hypotenuse, that is R upon L, that is sin 30 is equal to R upon 4 upon root 3, the value of the L. And sin 30 is 1 upon 2 into 4 upon root 3, that is equal to R. And if you simplify, R is equal to 2 upon root 3. Now we have dh upon dt is a 1 centimeter per second. And what is the volume? V is equals to 1 upon 3 pi r square into h. Now from the figure, what we have? That is a tan theta is equals to r upon 2. r upon h. That is a tan 30. Tan 30 is equals to. That is a 1 upon root 3 r upon h. And we have the relation between R and H. This is the relation. Now also the what is the volume? V is equals to 1 upon 3 pi R square into H. Now substitute the R that is 1 by root 3 H bracket square into H. That is 1 by 3 pi. It's a square 1 by 3 H square into H. That is 1 upon 9 pi H cube. That is the dV upon dt is equals to 1 upon 9 into pi 3 h square into dh upon dt. If we substitute the values of the h and dh upon dt. Now what is the value of h? We, we have given that's the value. It's a depth is a 2 centimeter. This we have given value of h and also that is a dh upon dt. That is the value of the dh upon dt that is equals to 1 centimeter per second. And if you substitute that values 1 and 2 square, then you will get that is a dv upon dt is equals to 4 upon 3 pi centimeter cube per second.
and this is the rate at which its volume is changing. All problems are it's a tough problems. You have to read the problems very carefully. Write your solution. See the video very carefully. Then you will understand all the problems, whatever that I had explained. Now, in this way, we have completed the first exercise that is a 2.1. Now, we will see in the next video. Till then, goodbye. But before that, you read all the problems very carefully then you will understand whatever that i have explained now we'll see the again next video till then goodbye